a few weeks ago i announced channeling updating their m6 their regular m6 calling it the m6 21 now officially they have uh, upgraded their m6 pro to the m6 pro 21 uh, with new DAC chips in it, price at about 800 US dollars, not cheap. This is a very expensive uh, music player. It's coming with the new ESS uh, 9068 AS uh, Sabre DAC. It is, uh, it's pretty much very powerful in terms of uh, internals that it's coming with. Okay, so let's go on and uh, see what you are getting here. Now, in terms of um, output, it has uh it has a lot of um decent power you know in low gain it is going to give you about 20 milliwatts of power you know in low gain it's not going to be too powerful in medium gain it's 60 milliwatts of power in high gain it is uh very very powerful then it's at 240 milliwatts uh into 32 ohms in high gain uh the signal to noise ratio is good it is not going to give you hiss in terms of uh that tz sound you get from some daps uh it's not bad okay so now if you are doing balance and i'm sorry the bridge the specs i gave you is in single ended but if you're now going balanced uh in low gain you will get 60 milliwatts with 32 ohms a medium gain is 240 milliwatts into 32 ohms in high gain is 760 milliwatts into 32 ohms uh, signal to noise ratio still is at 0.0005 percent which is uh which is good enough it's not gonna hiss uh like you're not going to get that crazy uh, annoying hiss that you get from uh, many sets out there you know so many people do complain of some daps that do hiss a lot that they are not a fan of uh in, in, at least this is not uh the 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 music player that is pretty much designed for for people that uh, are looking for for that uh kind of like portable convenience uh it's it's, it, it's still a bit bulky it's you get all the connection types you need 3.5 millimeter 2.5 millimeter 4.4 millimeter it's here yeah, it is it's good yeah honestly i think it's good suppose mqa it's, it's structure design is not bad it's, it's at least the the amp section is good enough for the most part uh i don't think um, most people would uh would need more it has an eq especially if you're using the app uh honestly i don't think it's bad i really don't think it's bad uh it has bluetooth support so it's, it's good enough it has a four gig uh ram and about 64 gig inbuilt uh inbuilt storage you can expand it to two terabytes with an external sd card uh the the snapdragon in here is the 430 so it's not the fastest unit out there but it's decent enough 430 it should be able to uh just run smoothly but not like uh, a fast very fast chipset so uh honestly this is not going to be a bad release so if you're just uh considering this uh for your casual listening you can get it it's the the DAC on uh, the DAC in it when it's running uh with music it can run for 16 hours uh on regular single-ended mode if you are running balance it will run for just 13 hours uh, so that's not bad I, it's uh, that's really not bad okay so that is it at eight hundred dollars i think this is not a cheap unit it's not a cheap unit it's not something that everyone can go out there and purchase uh, just know that if you're gonna buy this just have the budget for it uh, do keep the finances to understand that this is a semi high end player that you have to put, that I kind of like keep the money for and the screen is 720p it's not the best of the best but I don't think it's bad overall it's high res 
uh, you you won't get like the top of the line but you will it will be good enough so for the for 800 bucks i think it's going to be good enough for most people so i'll leave links to the to the official shanling store if you want to check it out do subscribe to our channel do like our content do vlog social media i'm going to see you guys next time